Today is Tuesday, the 8th of November. It's the second day of the 22nd Conference of Parties. Things have started now. All the plenaries are over and we've gone into negotiating mode. Nothing much has happened, so I won't report on negotiations. What I will do today is talk about a group of vulnerable countries that I am closely associated with. I chair the uh, expert advisory group to the, uh, to the group. The group is called the Climate Vulnerable Forum. It started in 2009, uh, before a year before the Copenhagen Summit, and it was started by the President of the Maldives, at that time President Nasheed, uh, brought together about 15 vulnerable countries from Asia, Africa, Latin America, Caribbean, Pacific, uh, and they formed the Climate Vulnerable Forum as a leaders forum. Uh, since then, it's continued. It was taken over from the Maldives by the President of Kiribati, and then after Kiribati, it was taken over by the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina. And then after that, it was the President of Costa Rica. And then last year, it was under the presidency of President Aquino of the Philippines, who chaired it during the Paris Agreement, at which point it, it became <coughs> a, a much larger group of about 40 vulnerable countries from around the world, mostly developing countries, and uh, advocating for the one and a half degree long-term temperature goal, which was very successfully adopted in, in uh, uh, Paris in the last day of the Paris Agreement. Uh, along with the negotiating groups, the least developed country group, the small island states, alliance of small island states, the OSIS, and the Africa group. Um, two characteristics of the uh, Climate Vulnerable Forum. Firstly, it's not a new negotiating group. Its members all belong to separate negotiating groups like the LDC group or the Africa group, and they negotiate in their negotiating groups. The lead the CBF is a leadership forum. It's the presidents and ministers coming together at a high level uh, to do one or two advocacy issues only and not negotiate. The other uh, evolution that's taken place, particularly under the Philippines leadership, is that the ministers of finance of the Climate Vulnerable Forum have formed their own group. They call themselves the V20, uh, in contrast to the G20, the G20 being the group of 20 richest countries, the V20 being the 20 group of um, the most vulnerable countries, although the number is not just 20. And the finance ministers have developed their own program of action, and it's particularly focusing on action at the national level. So one of the things that's happened with the Climate Vulnerable Forum, it's uh, evolved from an advocacy group to an action group. And they're doing a lot of South-South actions on renewable energy. Costa Rica is leading on that. Costa Rica is going to become absolutely 100% renewable by 2021, and it's sharing that knowledge with others. Bangladesh is sharing knowledge on adaptation technology, Philippines is sharing it on climate services, and so on. The chairmanship of the group has very recently this year been passed on from Philippines to Ethiopia. Under Ethiopia's leadership, there will be a, a number of uh, side events at the leadership level with the ministers when they arrive in Marrakesh next week, and I will be participating in those events and reporting on them uh, later on during the COP22.